Hello everybody, my name is Alex Soto, Director of Developer Experience at Red Hat, and today I'm going to show you a really nice CLI tool for Kubernetes called Cube Forward. This is the site, you can download it there, and let me show you. Here is my cluster, I can do can get pods, and you see here all my pods, and of course I can just get all my services. And as you might notice, there is like basically two services, my boot service, and PostgreSQL service, which you know are breaked by these pods. So what's happening when I am in the local development and I want to access from my local machine to these pods? Well, you need to start doing kubectl port forward or just you know getting um, IPs and ports and so on and port bindings. So it's not really easy. But notice that I can do kubectl kube forward services minus n default. Basically, I'm just saying I want to forward all the services that are in the default namespace. So of course I need to run it in, uh, as a super user. I just said it here. And why I need to use it as a super user? The reason is that here, notice that it says that I'm forwarding this DNS host, which is the service one to this pod. And why this happens in local uh, machine? Because I can, I can do just ATC host and you see that queue forward just change it, my host file for getting the correct IPs and the correct uh, ports for my boot and PostgreSQL. So now I can do curl my boot 8080 from my local machine and of course I'm getting access to this pod. Then I can just stop it and everything is clean and I can just do here again a cat in host and you can see that there is no more pods host on my ATC uh, host local file. Hope that you find it useful.